Love makes you do crazy things. Buying a $1,000 headphone is a crazy thing. But what happens when you love something so much, you have to let it go. Welcome to Lachlan Likes a Thing. This is my struggle. This is the Stax L300 electrostatic ear speaker. This is the Stax SRM353X driver unit that does not come with the L300 because the L300 usually comes in a kit, uh, the SRS3100 kit, which includes the L300 and a much smaller driver unit that you would have seen in an earlier video I posted uh, with Tom um, because he has the whole kit. And honestly, there's not much I can say in this review that I haven't already said in previous videos, but I may as well kind of compress it all for you and let you know why I reckon this is strange thing to say, but this is one of the best value $1,000, around $1,000 uh, headphone packages you can buy today. Not this package, but with the little one, because we have the big one here, couldn't buy the little one in Hong Kong. The big one makes more sense if one day you reckon you're gonna upgrade to the L500 or the L700, because this is the one that usually comes with the L500. Uh, but even then, as a whole package, I really do like the L300. So I guess we'll start with the build quality and the design. And I've said this more than a few times, the build on the Stax L300 is embarrassing to, to pick a word. Um, for, a, for a product that's meant to be a premium headphone, uh, it looks and feels like a space heater that's made out of plastic. And I don't know if this was necessarily a weight uh, saving measure Honestly, the L500 and the L700 do not uh, do not improve in really dramatically uh, significant ways in terms of build over this plastic fantastic design, um, and it, it it just strikes you as very fragile in the hand. Though over time, I gotta say, um, the kind of brutality of this headphone design has has charmed me. Um, more troubling, I would say, is the comfort issues with the stock pad on the L300 compared to the L500 and the L700 because the stock pads are very thin and your, your ear, the back of your ear, will touch on the inside of the driver. Uh, Tom and I, uh, in an earlier video, established that you can add the L500 or the L700 pads to the L300, increases the spacing, um, maybe changes the sound a little, but it makes it a lot more comfortable. I have also heard about people uh, rotating the dust cover 180 degrees so that their ears no longer touch the baffle and it's a lot more comfortable that way. I haven't tried that myself, but um, if you have, leave a comment, let me know your uh, findings with that change. I got the official stack stand for the headphone. Probably not essential in and of itself, but it's meant to work with the dust cover, and this is the official Stax dust cover, and that is sort of really important because this headphone works on the principle of a static charge. It will attract dust. You don't really want to get dust into all those uh, sexy uh, space heater grills, so you want to keep it covered with a dust cover, and that's the whole package here. But it's funny because I feel like with the Stax, unlike a lot of other headphones around $1,000, you aren't paying for premium materials. You aren't paying for um, some fancy design. You're paying for a somewhat difficult to manufacture uh, type of headphone and you're paying for 
what I think is really good sound for around a thousand dollars. So I'll break it down this way. I'll compare it to other headphones that I am familiar with around a thousand dollars because at this price point, I feel like the question of better or worse is less important and the question of preference becomes more important because at around a thousand dollars, it's not kitty territory anymore. It's like wine tasting at that point. Um, so it's a whole lot of wank essentially. Uh, the Stax L300, I reckon, I prefer over the Sennheiser HD800. And I know a lot of people love the Sennheiser HD800. They think it's a wonderful headphone. I personally find it a little too diffuse compared to the, to the L300. The L300 has more direct sort of hardness to the treble. It has more energy there. Um, so that particularly in, uh, for female vocals, there's more of a direct forward sound to them that I prefer. And in terms of bass, I don't think the Stax has uh, as a warm or a rounded kind of bass tone as the HD800, but what it does have is a really nice kind of punch, a real aggressive um, planar punch to the sound. Now, it's nothing as, uh, it's nothing as, as kind of full sounding as, as say the LCD2, and I think if you are after bass and you're after planar bass, um, the HE560 from Hi-Fi Man and the LCD2, compared to the Focal Elia, I reckon the Focal Elia is probably a little bit more of a fun headphone in terms of its really kind of bombastic bass, uh, coupled with its very strong sense of detail. At the same time though, I didn't quite like the Focal Elia's kind of almost numb vocal presentation. There was something about it that I wasn't so keen on. For me, I think it really does come down to the vocals because the Stax has a much more typically Japanese sounding um, upper mid vocal lift that you'll hear from headphones from like classic Sony headphones, not the new stuff, um, or kind of your typical Audio-Technica kind of vocal sound. At times, the Stax can sound a bit thin. It has a certain hardness to the vocals, but it's never to the point where I think it sounds ear piercing. There's enough warmth and smoothness to the sound to make it still, I think, quite a good all rounder. Maybe not the best thing to chuck the panty and stocking uh, soundtrack onto, but if you do, you won't end up with your ears bleeding. So why am I thinking of getting rid of the L300. So I don't know if you noticed this, but my listening habits have changed over the years. I don't have a desktop setup anymore to speak of really. I do most of my listening either on earphones or on, um, on portable headphones or just, you know, just on a pair of speakers, right? I don't really feel like being tethered to a desktop setup anymore. And part of that was buying the Astell & Kern Khan, which was overkill, I guess, but it sort of covered all my bases in terms of having a desktop kind of unit that I could sit on the desk, but I could still bring it with me if I had to go downstairs to get a cup of uh, water or something like that. Um, and in, in that sort of usage case, I simply don't end up using this combination all that much. When I sit down and have a listen to the L300, I love it but most of the times I'm not even sitting at the computer where this is connected to. Um, and you know, maybe I could go around with this like a boom box and I could get a portable generator and um, do some insane thing. But honestly, Stax Chan, I'm sorry. The problem isn't you, it's me. I feel like I've changed, we've moved apart and I think you deserve better. So, I'm prepared to let the L300 go, the 353 as well. I think the L300 can find a place in your heart as well. Now go, go!
I love you. Now someone buy it from me, please.